Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about push dose pressors. So at my program, we have the ability to use epinephrine or phenylephrine as push dose pressors. Well, which one's better? That depends on the patient that we've got in front of us. So we did the pharmacology of epi a couple of weeks ago, and we talked about how it has alpha and beta agonistic properties, meaning it can act on the alpha, which is gonna be the vascular smooth muscle so that we can shore up that vasculature and increase our systemic vascular resistance, therefore shrinking the tank. But this also works on beta. So it's going to speed up your heart rate uh, and increase your onotropy in the process. And there are some patients that this can be really great for. If your patient is bradycardic, I I would definitely turn to epi as my push dose presser of choice. But if I've got a patient that's tacking along at 120, 140, I don't want to make their heart rate even faster. So if I need a push dose presser only to bridge me over to where I can get a drip, because remember, this is not an end all be all intervention. This is a bridge. This buys you some time to get a continuous infusion of a vasopressor going. Well, phenylephrine can be a great choice because this strictly acts as an alpha agonist. So it's only acting on those vascular smooth muscles to shore up that vasculature and shrink the tank, which increases our systemic vascular resistance, and then hopefully will increase our perfusion. Now, who do we not want to use this baby on? We do not want to use it on patients who are shocky because their heart isn't working. If they're in cardiogenic shock, that heart is trying to push against really high systemic vascular resistance. And if I come along with phenylephrine at even in more increased that systemic vascular resistance, I'm now making it uh, even harder for that left ventricle to push out that load of blood. So with those patients, neither one of these are gonna be a great choice. I'm gonna use uh, in a positive inotrope to help that patient, but let's get back to phenylephrine. A couple of things on the pharmacokinetics. It's got a pretty quick onset time of less than a minute. It's got a duration of about 10 to 20 minutes. So that buys you enough time to Place your airway and get an infusion going so that you can maintain that improved perfusion that you got with this push dose presser.